Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be making this painting. It's a little demonstration I did for my students in oil on canvas board. And I'm going to be talking about COVID-19 and how it's affected me. So um, bear with me on that. Cycling to work today, it's a little bit wet but has to be done. So why ride to work on a day like this? As some of you will know I have what used to be known as Asperger's Syndrome or ASD and uh, on top of that I caught coronavirus right at the very beginning of the outbreak. This meant that both my physical and mental health deteriorated rapidly over the last few months and that's why I've not been able to make any films for some time. When I first got coronavirus I thought I thought I was either going to die in hospital on a ventilator or I was going to get better in two weeks. As it turns out, neither of those things have happened and uh, it's dragged on and on for months. I still have a tight chest, a bit of a cough, I'm short of breath, exhausted, and my heart is beating irregularly and weirdly. I sometimes wake up in the middle of the night choking and I think I'm going to die of a heart attack or a stroke or any one of a million other things. <laughs> so there's all that. It's also got into my joints. So there's a load of joint pain. Blimey. That makes getting exercise really difficult. And exercise is great for me mentally. The endorphins produced when I'm exercising makes me feel much, much better. So I haven't been able to, to get out and do so much. So now I'm at the beginning of the whole new exercise regime, hence cycling to work in the pouring rain. I've just seen as I'm making this that the R rate for coronavirus is on the rise again. Further easing of restrictions has been postponed. Whatever you do, do not catch coronavirus. It is shite. And, um, <laughs> wear a mask, don't go to busy places, steer clear of it. It's horrible. Don't get it. Okay? <laughs> I've just cancelled all my classes for the next four weeks just because uh, just to get a break, but teaching has been quite useful. One of the good things about when I'm teaching is it's, it's a discipline, of course. It means that I do have to be here if I say I'm going to be here. But also, um, as part of that, I do demonstrations. So it means that I can make little paintings as demonstration pieces and not take them too seriously. You know, they're, they're kind of uh, unimportant. But that is a step in the right direction, you know, handling the paint and and considering values and all that kind of thing. that It's going to help in the long run to get me back to making some paintings very soon, I hope. If you have any questions about my experiences of COVID or ASD, put them in the comments below. And it'd be great if you'd subscribe to my channel as well. I was talking to my students yesterday about painting with palette knives, painting knives. And I did a demonstration for them from a little photograph I took on my phone of Gardener's Cottage in the walled garden here. Um, they went on to make some paintings of their own and they did some really good, really good work. I was really pleased with it. Um, but I thought I'd bring you along and let you have a look at, at how I made my demonstration. So let's just run through the colours that I'm going to use in this. Okay, so we've got titanium white, bright yellow lake, chrome orange, yellow ochre, French ultramarine, cobalt blue and Mars black. And I'm going to be working on this little canvas board which is 25 by 30 centimetres. Okay what I'm doing here is um, establishing where the bottom of the cottage and the path is going to go and getting in some of the dark tones in the top of the painting. I want to get the canvas covered pretty much as soon as possible. I'm applying the paint quite thinly to start with, even though I'm working with a palette knife. Uh, if you start to trowel it on, you can find that it tends to get really muddy and it's difficult to cope with. So, you know, kind of scratch away and make it, make it quite thin to start with. 
I'm using bright yellow lake, cobalt blue and just a touch of French ultramarine to warm it a little. So this is chrome orange, cadmium orange, which I think I forgot to mention in the, uh, in the list of colours, and titanium white. And then just a tiny touch of French ultramarine. And whilst I've uh, obviously speeded this up, I was working quite quickly anyway. It's quite hard to see from where you are, but um, I did make sure that I wasn't right in front of the cottage, which means that uh, none of the lines are horizontal. Horizontal lines can really stop the eye, so there's an element of perspective in it. For the foreground area, I'm going with the same colours, but with far less blue in the mix. And as we come forward, I'm adding more French ultramarine to warm it and bring, bring the foreground out. I want to put this little path in and then I'm going to add some light to these um, trees that are in front of the cottage. They're quince trees and they're just catching some sunlight. I just want to pull these trees over the front of the cottage. Get some sense of these windows. The cottage roof and the sky are essentially the same colours, just that there's more um, white in the sky, lighten that up a little bit, and then I'll pull it across the top of the um, I'll pull it across the top of the trees. of these quince trees in. Just suggest the trunks of the trees. And then I need to put some shadow underneath them too. and the underside of the trees.
Okay, that's about it then. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this one. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. And if you do, click the little bell icon and it will tell you, um, it will tell you when I'm posting a new video. Leave a comment or a question and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Stay well and I'll see you in the next video.